What's up, bitches? Today, Grandma Ma'am's back with another recipe for you guys. This is called the ice cream sandwich cake. Yeah, let's call it that. Ice cream sandwich cake. Lordy, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to mention Mama Am's. I'm just letting y'all know there's a there's an amazing lady that taught me this recipe. Her name is Mama Am's. And I looked at this ice cream up, and I found this woman, and she had this amazing recipe, and I decided to make it. But I also saw it on Facebook, too. But I want to thank this woman for teaching Grandma Ma'am how to make that. All right, so what we're going to have to do is you're going to use your milk favorite cookie Oreos. You're going to use Hershey's Hot Fudge. You're going to, you're going to, I, I, like to I like to use Hershey's as best, but you can use some buckers. And then you can also get some Bluebell ice cream sandwiches. That's the old shit that the old ladies like to eat. And an original whipped topping. That's the best. Get that. But, I mean, you don't have to get a lower lid. You can get that damn expensive one, but I ain't. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to take your ice cream sandwiches, take off all the dead wrappers, and you're also you're going to line them up. We're going to show y'all just a second. We're going to have to unwrap all the It's like six ice cream sandwiches. Now, what you want to do is, after you get six lined up like this, you line them up however you want, and then you take three more, and you, what you're going to do is cut them in half. So you can put one, two, and three of them on here. So that way, it'll fill it up and make you a layer. There you go. It's going to look something like this. Hopefully, it looks good for y'all, because this already looks good to me. What you're going to do now is you're going to take your Hershey syrup and pour half the jar onto this pan on top of your ice cream sandwiches. And you're just going to, make, you're going to spread it all around like this right here. Oh, yeah. So what you're going to do now is you have it spread and all that. You're going to take your whipped cream and you're going to make sure you spread that all over it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is we're putting whipped cream on, we're smoothing it on, we're using the same spoon we use with the chocolate because I want that little creamy looking color. You see that little color with the streams, you know? That's pretty cool. We're, we're going to make it kind of organic. And the video, original video we watched said that you put it in the fridge, I believe, to freeze the chocolate. But we're just going to go ahead and put it on top because we want it all to frozen together. It'll be alright. So there you are, you put your whipped cream on there, spread it out, make it look pretty, however you want to do it. It's your cake. And that's all you got to do, is just put your whipped cream on it like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to crum crumble your Oreos onto your pan here. And you're just going to make it however you want. We're using Oreos just to make it look pretty. It's kind of like a cookies and cream, you know. There it is. That is your ice cream sandwich cake it's a beautiful cake hold on a minute. let me let me do something else real quick all right so now what you're going to do is the final step i wanted to try is sprinkle your chocolate hot fudge all over it just sprinkle it make it look pretty because that chocolate right there on top of that cookie will help the cookies taste good fudge. now that honey buns is going to be your ice cream sandwich cake it looks so good i swear I'm taking off for this right now.